counter things cat sunglasses. Those are what the cats wear in the meme. Cats wearing what? Cats wear those sunglasses in the memes online, Ben. Jump online. <laughs> oh, you geezer. You boomer. Cat memes? Yeah. Don't you ever look at cat memes? No, I'm an adult. I do. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start right right now. So <laughs> I do. <laughs> Got Dallas's bare chest and Ben's blasphem- blasphemous jersey. Oh, Benny's. <laughs> Benny used to go chubbo, but I just I'll just the it. top. Just the top, baby. Just the top. All right, so and, and welcome to episode <laughs> thirty-three. I don't know if we can show this, really this much chest huh? legally oh. on YouTube. <laughs> Man, this ep- episode tw- thirty-three of the Family Base Podcast. I'm Jake. I'm Dallas, and I'm Scotty Pimpin. Too high. You are showing too much chest, both of you. <laughs> hey, I'm all the way buttoned up, Jack. I like that. I'm, I'm going to a business meeting. Jack, yeah, dude. This is like having the top button. button yeah, on. It's, it's awkward, right? It feels weird. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So like, actually, I feel like you know, it's a tie. It doesn't look that bad though. Look at this. Everybody, jump online. Look at YouTube or YouTube. I don't know. But I prefer I prefer having all of them unbuttoned. Yeah. This is as far as it go. Not uh-huh. sure. Jake's keeping a little mystery to the thing. It's like, well, oh, yeah. I can't do everything. Just a little V. Dallas and I like to show the, show the fur. <laughs> Showing some fur. A little tamed and luscious. So on episode 33, we're just going to have a very short 15 to 20 minute discussion about what's one storyline that each of us are excited to watch, follow this second half. Uh, I'll start because as I thought about this, I didn't, even though I'm wearing a cup jersey right now, I know Ben, you're not, but Boo. whatever, you're a loser. All right, so oh, my story, my story, yeah, no one feels bad. All right, so <laughs> um, my storyline is actually about the White Sox, hey. in, in fairness, because it. They have started, as we're recording this, we are pre-recording this very early, but before the All-Star break, right now, they are 37 and 39, which is the same record as Ben's favorite, the Texas Rangers. So the White Sox are my team to look for because they're finally getting healthy. Um, And honestly, on the south side of the city, um, <clears throat> there are a ton of White Sox fans. I think it'd be it'd be great to see the city have at least one winning team. The Cubs won't be that. I think the White Sox could be. So I'm excited. I'm not rooting for them, but I, I'm I think I'm excited to see how well they do. well well they do this uh, this half. Uh, ben, what, what do you think? What's your one story I'd like to follow? Well, the piggyback off yours real quick. Um, I guess it is It is kind of always exciting when there's some sort of team to root for-ish, you know? Like, it'll be fun until next month because, I mean, come August, NFL starts and the Bears go to training camp and then all eyes will be on them. And then the Saxon Cubs will continue to be under 500 and, and below expectations. And then they will finish their season like they normally do, which is with a uh, whimper and not a roar. Um, I don't think the Sox will end up turning it around like you think. Um, it would be cool if they do, I guess, but I don't. I just don't see it. Um, Larusa can't get out of his own way. And I guess until they get rid of him, I don't think they'll really be able to reach that next level. I want to see Ozzy back. They should hire Ozzy back. He would be a better fit, and he would light a fire under them, I think, better than old-ass Dinosaur Russo. Um, but my my story is about the Cubs. It is about the Cubs. Uh, Suzuki's been on fire his last two games since he came back from uh, our off the IL. And seeing him progress, watching if Nico continue what he's doing, 
and then seeing how far we are going to go into the minor leagues um, to see, you know, who's going to be coming up or who might get some major league at bats or get some innings um, to see what we might have in some of these younger guys like a Brennan Davis or, or anything like that. So I'm looking forward to the Cubs continuing to lose, but bringing in um, like talent, at least young talent, so we can see, you know, what we might have in the future. Are, are, the, are the Cubs going to trade Contreras? I think at this point, I would be more surprised if they re-signed him than if they traded him. Ugh. But that's just fine. I, I mean, I, I agree. I think it's stupid. But I think yeah, that's... I agree. I, to interject, I think that's the pessimism that the Cubs have led us to over the decades of being fans, but... I think there's still a shot for them to hold on to one. And if they're going to hold on to one, it's going to be Contreras. It's going to be Jason Hayward. Oh, God. Yes, for hopefully 10 more Forever. years Forever. and Forever. a $300 million contract. Yep, another one. Another one. Right, so, Dallas, what do you think? What's a, a storyline that you're looking forward to watching? Looking forward to the rest of the red season, Cincinnati, uh, because they are quite possibly the only team to finish worse than the Cubs. Well, you have the A's. A's are terrible. The A's, A's are, are terrible. terrible. But they, their standing affects ours zero. So the Reds, on the other hand, keep sucking it up. At least we have somebody that's worse than us in the NL Central. Pirates, we cannot rely on them this year to be worse than us. And uh, St. Louis is actually starting to look like a contender in the NL Central. And uh, the Brewers are just shit right now. So. Brewers can't even beat the Cubs. They're a bunch of fucking dorks. Bunch of geeks. <laughs> How embarrassing. I'm That's from Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. We have cheese, man. You wow. gotta try the that chocolate cheese, man. A very good impression, I have to say. Do you remember remember Milwaukee Dave? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Everybody remembers no. Milwaukee Dave because he yeah. never showed. Milwaukee I, Dave. I, I, who is that? That's Dave. We had taken we had planned a whole boys weekend with Dave included. And uh, <laughs> very much included. And we showed up the day of very to pick him up and he just didn't come with. So like yeah. Why? So we just ended up. Uh, Nobody think, knew. I don't think he t uh, cleared it with you know Nora. He never told us. <laughs> so henceforth, known as Milwaukee did. But why Milwaukee? Could have been anywhere. But that's oh, where we were going. We were taking a yeah, trip to Milwaukee. For taking a trip up oh. for a weekend. So we did. Yeah, we did some brewery tours. Um, yeah. And Dave had been like months in advance invited. Yeah. So wait, you still don't know why he didn't go? Hmm. Not a de definitive answer, no. Dave, 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 shout out, love you. Shout out, Dave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How how you just long? Ago? Again? You guys did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, was, every, every episode we can't <laughs> have this. It's Look, I, to become I, a problem. I kept doing it because nobody ever said anything. I thought you guys couldn't hear it, but it smells terrible. Uh, no. We got it. Fun fact. It's gross. It smells awful. That is that not fun. Does my, not legs, my legs are crossed, and it still escapes. <laughs> Man. Sick. Talk about maturity. Right? Maturity of farts. It's like cheese, baby. The are you guys excited for... for sorry. <laughs> No, no, Ben. Ben, go ahead. Uh, I just talk about Thor. farts. I was just uh, Thor's coming out soon. Yeah, so I was just saying how excited are we about Thor? I'm pumped that, about that. That's one storyline outside of baseball. I yeah. definitely want to see. I can get into that. Yeah, I can back that. Yeah. Up. And that comes out pretty soon. Someone's birthday. Someone's. Someone. I don't know who. Oh no, Rachel's birthday just passed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's 
someone's half birthday. Mm. Abraham, right. Abraham Lincoln's almost Ben's half birthday. Yeah, that is a good day. <clears throat> All right. Well, is there a, a storyline outside of the city of Chicago or the Inner Central that you guys want to watch? Is there like yeah. a show? Show the Otani. Mike Trout is our young player. I was gonna something else. Yeah, I was actually gonna say Shohei was gonna be my pick to see if he can, uh, you know, because as of as of today, as of what we're recording right now, he's having another really good um, pitching performance. You know, that's um, it, that's true. He he's doing great, but you know, like it's disheartening to see players like him and Trout on the Angels. Oh, I didn't know where you were going with it. No, it's just like. <clears throat> It's just like you say, it's a real bummer that there's good players in the league. We need to go back. <laughs> Why do they keep when guys were batting two ten and they were your starting second baseman? That's right and now. And you were wearing one batting glove and you had your stirrups were like halfway up your sock. All right, first all right. of all, I don't think one batting glove's a wrong move. Secondly, stirrups are nice. Nobody go who rocks one batting glove? I wish I would. For what? I'm not in the league. Which what hand would you put it on though? Would you walk tradition and just put it on your right hand? <laughs> just cause? No, I would wear only the fingertips on my right. <laughs> like a, like a passes glove here and it's just a oh fingertip. Oh gosh. Right here and up. They look like finger con. They're one of those like plastic thimbles. Can you, you imagine know, like, putting people... each one on your finger though? <laughs> or when you storm off and you got to take them off it or, or you get a double. And you gotta sit there, and now your your coach has to wait for you to pull you. <laughs> Take it easy, coach. Take it easy. I'm the one making seventy bucks. Just for anyone who's listening or watching who doesn't know us, this is the conversation. Dust farts. Bet, uh, it's not finger, my farts. Uh, condoms. Alleged farts. That's where it goes. Okay. There is a cat in the room. We cannot confirm. That we it all the heard it, bro. Might have been the cat. I was taking the yeah. fall. Yeah, Yo, don't you think it's wild though that we just let that animal shit in our house? No other <laughs> animal. Do you voluntarily? If your dog shit in the house, you're kicking him and you're mad and you're throwing him out the door. Not kicking. Well, him. I, I'm, I'm not, not kicking. Like, no, I meant like kicking him out of the house, like you know, throwing him outside. But, you know, no other animals allowed to shit in your house except the cat for some reason. And then you just have a house that the cat shit, bro. Dude. All right. But I also don't think you should be domesticating birds. I was going to say. Let like, birds what, be free, bro. Why do you need a parrot in your house? What do you need a parrot for? Dude, I am 100% on your side. But All there right. are folks that like birds as pets. They domesticate them. Like, what are you doing? Because now they have this unexplained – Because. Really, if like a bird dies, like what do you do with the cage? You can't get rid of it right, right away. That's weird. So like they just keep it in the house, right? So now they have. Maybe you can't get rid of it right away. What do you do, man? It's like a bird dies. What do you do? You stick it in the corner it. like you would anything else. Oh, oh garbage dude. day. Dude, I bet. I yeah. bet, man. I hate to bring this up, man. God forbid it happens if Brutus dies. You can take. Man, it's not gonna if he's not in. You're gonna take to any die. of his things and just be like, <laughs> day after, be like, well. <laughs> I think I would only because yeah. it would be I, I say to no. move on. I say nay. nay no, nay. but see, in this thing right here behind me, I have one of a, a half chewed chew toy of his that was a Chicago Cubs bat that I will keep <laughs> forever. Still there. <laughs> As a, yeah, and it's taking up half of a, a shelf space over here as well, opposed to his bed, which I will get rid of to put my Christmas tree up. If he's, maybe, you know, maybe the person. Was like, wow, this cage really brings me close to this little bird that I just lost. And now they have a big, like, what does that have to do with your cat shitting in your house and making it? All I'm saying is, you were talking about kicking human beings out because of pooping. I wasn't kicking humans out, I was kicking the dog out (laughs) because birds can poop in the house. And just even if they die, you keep (laughs) that's what I'm saying. That made no sense. What does that have to do with anything? It makes perfect sense, dude. Cats are whack. Cats are cool, man. You know what? Just keep going, guys. Cats are wet. What is the point of them? They don't like Cats the pedals. Cool. They do. No. Nah. Ours does. Come on over. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Jonesy? Is, she, is Jonesy still up in the vents? Jonesy hides in the vents, man. She stays in the vents. Yeah, but is she still there? 
Do you know? Dude, she might be. She might have gone back. Never no, trust. seriously. Did you guys ever pull a body out? Like that cat? No, died. really. She's she's out and about, man. She she was meant for the streets. She stayed. In the street. <laughs> she was not meant for the sheets. Strictly she for the street. She, she was meant for all types of things other than a house. She was not domesticated as, at, at all. She was awful. She was fun. I love Joe. Dude, she probably killed a lot of mice, though. Like, you know, in Homewood, we get a lot of field mice and stuff in the winter. Jones, Jonesy was an apex predator. All right. She, saying, could not, yeah. she couldn't be contained to the house. And I don't I don't blame her for that. She needed to live her life. Okay. Really, and here's I, the only I don't, I don't know what happened to her. And I feel bad about that right now. But I'm pretty sure <laughs> my, dad, my dad being my dad probably did what he would do. What, what you have to do, yeah. He dropped yeah. her off at a non-kill shelter, and she was well taken care of until the end of her days, where she died peacefully. That's what happened. Yeah, probably, but man, yeah. she was she was a cool cat, man. She was a cool cat. I like that cat. So when you said apex predator, it made me think of the movie <clears throat> Predator. And realistically, right now, as cool as soldiers are, I'm not saying you're not cool. Shout out soldiers. If a supreme alien race came down like them, Arnold Schwarzenegger's not beating up the we're, predators we're right? all dying yeah yeah we're all dying. like you can cover yourself in all the mud he's still gonna fuck you up yeah because you just look foolish you'd be dirty when you kill him. <laughs> yeah. and you're just covered in mud yeah it's just nasty take a shower at least rinse yourself off in the river you present yeah. when you die, right do you think okay and then last one jake and i, I promise we'll stop uh <laughs> does the predator realistically beat alien or does alien realistically beat predator Better than those movies. I, I want like a real. I will always bet on Predator. Put all my against chips on Predator. Everybody. Against everybody. Have you seen the trailer for the new movie? No, I didn't know there was it's no one Prey. coming out until literally right now. It's called Prey. So it's about uh, cavemen, mm -hmm. and when the predators first came down, they made contact with uh, humanity, mm -hmm. and we're like fighting them with spears and shit. It's, yeah. It looks pretty cool. Check it out. It? Check out the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> It's not going to be good, but you know it looks fine. Or maybe it's a Hulu TV show or something. It's coming out wow. on, on something. But. I really hope it's great. I really felt like the AVPs could have been so uh, much cooler, right? And so much better. Um, like Freddy versus Jason, they should have done all four of them in a fatal four-way steel cage <laughs> match. Predator versus Jason versus Freddy versus Dude. the alien from Aliens. And again, I would, I would literally, I would pick Predator every time. Always. Does the predator sleep? I do. Um, I'm a because if the predator sleeps, I bet he's Freddy's sleeps. got him. He probably sleeps in like a hyperbaric chamber. That's what I was gonna say. Red my yeah. mind. Amazing. Yeah. But, but does, only for like thirty minutes. Does the alien sleep? I imagine they must, dude. Kind of like animals, you know, like they probably. Also, how tough is their skin? How tough is their outer yeah. shell? Because their blood is literally acid that could like leak through spaceships. So in order right. to keep that in and your your shell has to be like horrible. right and it would be a great shield and i think they use that in one of them as a shield i'm pretty sure what's a cooler that. what's a cooler weapon by the alien the, the the like scorpion tail like the real sharp tail or the yeah no or the mouth scorpion guy. tail scorpion tail because like you already need to be so close like yeah <laughs> what's that that's giving you like an extra piece. and in some hey, i'll it, take it that's pretty awesome i'll take that. are you gonna take an extra six minutes i think all all three of us would take an extra six and we'll be like okay I guess <laughs> you know, but, but also like as a little mini chomper like also that like in a practical sense like what mouth does that actually eat with like why'd have the big mouth in the first place at all <laughs> just have a little tiny little fucking projectile mouth yeah that just seems a little redundant and impractical like i'd rather have the big mouth and if i can't reach the little thing in front of me like what, what are you shooting the little mouth into? Like an animal? So yeah. No, that's exactly. So here's my question. He's eating lunch, right? Is he eating it in the big mouth? And yeah, is the little, But is the little mouth then eating the stuff as well? I think well? it comes out gently. like, And then just, yeah, like when you feed a dog, you're like gentle, gentle. And it's just like. It's like a baby bird. And you're just like. Right. Right. Yeah. I, think that, I think that's actually what happens. I think happens you just figured it out. Like, even the big mouth and the alien, like. It's no good, other than damaging people. So like, it's just what? Like, it's just, it's mechanically chopping shit. So like, the little mouth can come out and do it. So it's like, it doesn't need to come out all hard and shit like it does in the movies. If yeah. it's already dead, right? So it's just like a little. 
Eh. If he's aggressive, yeah. Right back. Dude, I mean, your dad every once in a while just he'll text me something and it'll just be like it'll be on a holiday. Alien and it'll be a clip of aliens. Yeah. That's weird. It's That's like weird. Easter. It's like it was it was it was Easter. Past Easter. Yeah, it was this past Easter. I can see if I can try to find it, I'll send it to you guys. But yeah, he sent me a gif of yeah, I want to know what he sent you because that. <laughs> I think so the context weird. had to have been like coming out, you know, when when uh, the thing rips through uh, dude's oh. chest at the restaurant or the stomach at the restaurant or whatever. Right. Let me see right. if I can find it. If I still have you, it, I'm, I'm sure. That was the dying right. on the shit. All right, yeah. you you send that to us, and this has been episode thirty-three <laughs> of the Family Base Pod. We did everything else but talk about <laughs> baseball. That's so right. have fun with this. All right. So again, my name is Jake. And I'm Dallas. And I'm Ben. Thank you guys for watching or listening. If you enjoy this, please subscribe. Hit the alert. Hit the bell. Do whatever. Just, I'll let these two go on because this is what it would be. So, thank you guys. (laughs) Without Jake's guidance. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, I mean, it's fun. It's not, it's not bad by any means. That's why I let go. All right. So thank you guys for watching or listening. Have a good week. We'll see you guys next week. Farewell. Bye.